Little Wing, Derek and the Domino style. favorites of all time um, could come under the category of like is it more fun to play or is it more fun to listen to I think um, you know Little Wing we all know is just like an absolutely killer killer tune uh, Hendrix Steve Ray Vaughan I did a version I did a cover of the Steve Ray Vaughan version in full you might see it. you go back and have a look at that and um, I've always wanted to put up the, the Derek and the Dominoes one because it is actually my favorite even though like the Hendrix one is obviously amazing and Stevie Ray there's something about this Derek and the Dominoes one where it's kind of not really about the guitar they just the overall texture and feel of the track and you know Bobby Whitlock kind of yelping in the background and all that kind of stuff so and um, what I did there is I just played um, I played, there's five choruses of soloing. He's, he's, he does an intro solo, sings a couple of verses, does two choruses of a solo, sings a couple of verses, does another two choruses of a solo. That makes five choruses of soloing, you know? Um, so, you know, sometimes with these tracks, if you try and tackle everything, you never really finish them, do you? So I think with a track like this, if you just tackle the instrumental parts, if the guitar playing is your main focus, um, you know, learn the, learn the guitar solos. So like I said, there's five choruses of that. What I might do now is actually just play and uh, I'll I'm gonna play each chorus like three times, <laughs> you know. Um, and like I said, this is just like a one take kind of video. So I'll do my best to, to be as accurate as I can, <laughs> you know. So um, uh, one thing to note, the, the, the riff that's not on the original, he does that kind of thing, doesn't he, where it's on an E. And then you do an F sharp D, so you can go F 
Mouse Shop TV. And you can do that different ways. I was playing it though with this high inversion for the E. And then that, you know, all little kind of like on the top three string style triads. You know, and you can play lower inversions as an E. It's up to you how you want to play that. It just seems more appropriate to play that high one while I'm doing the, the solo part. So I'm going to play the first uh, intro solo round and round. Um, hopefully this works. This is a bit of an experiment. So I suppose I've got, a, I put the chords down on a loop. Actually, I'll play the chords round with you first. So here we go, F sharp. Goes to an A. To a B minor. Back to the F sharp. You know, Hendrix one was a tone down, wasn't it? C sharp minor. Down to B minor. To the D, G. To, uh, sorry, A to the G. D, and up to E. And there's that. I'll do that one more time. Here we go, F sharp minor. A. B minor, back to the F sharp minor, C sharp minor 7, going down to the B minor, to the D, to the A, G, back to the D, and here's that chordal riff. Here's the intro solo, here we go, so. Interval. What you're doing here is you're on the fifth and the first string, and you're gonna go four, uh, 16 and 17, and then you go to two 14s, 12s, 9, 7, and 5, and then you move that shape up two 17s, 17. So uh, I'd say on the I'd say they double tracked that probably on the record where one guy played the low one and, uh, and then the, you know, they double tracked the high one, you know what I mean? So, uh, so the only weird thing is on the first one it starts with 16 and 17, so. And then two 17s. And then you're into. Okay, so that's the intro solo. What I'll do now is I'll play the I'll play the first guitar solo, so this is chorus two and three of the guitar solo. This is the guitar solo in the middle of the of the song. So after my for some strange reason, I've set up my loop pedal over there, which is not very uh, convenient. So here we go. <laughs>
solo again, so. to the end two choruses of the guitar solo. Here we go, so the last two choruses. The last two choruses. Two, three, four. test of uh, concentration I think that because there's no super fast flashy licks it's all this kind of liquid moving up and down the neck very 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 cool you know he's, he's not trying to kind of shred on it you know he's I love the way he just moves up and down the second string a lot there's something about that kind of uh, moving east west on the on the guitar neck isn't there uh, on the second string it's just got that right amount of kind of tone about it the second string you could argue the first string kind of gets a bit thin the third string could be a bit dull you know the second string just has the the right amount of kind of brightness to to kind of cut through the mix so um i hope you found that fun um it's it's good for one to play but don't underestimate it it's because it's not got it's not got like super fast kind of burning you know pentatonic licks or, or anything like that it's it's just very very cool it kind of works perfectly with the changes um, you know, it's 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 almost like a a beautifully written composition. The solo, um, I don't know how they went about it. Whether they did multiple takes or maybe it was just they were just so good at the time. I uh, I don't know. But I mean, let's let's just enjoy it, appreciate it, and uh, learn from it. And you know, if we 
take some stuff away from it and we can put that into our own plane. That's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, so that's the way I look at these things. I study them and then I kind of forget about them. You know, I just hope that some of it is kind of stuck to my, um, you know, my own person, guitar personality, if you like. And I think it definitely does. Um, you know, no matter how much you try to be like someone, you, I think you can you can really just uh, let your own personality through if you want to, you know. So uh, have fun with that little Wayne Derek and the Domino style. Yeah, very, very cool. I've been wanting to do that one for a while. It's been sat on my desk for about six months. Like, going, well, right, I'm going to learn that. And I've always had a go at learning it here and there and, and kind of like got halfway through it and then got distracted because it's like one of those kind of tunes, you know. Um, but yeah, it's got to be right up there as one of like the best coolest blues rock tracks ever keep it burning be safe out there and i'll speak to you soon